I believe we are finished. You got the big trees in the middle of the plaza? Check. And the colourful canopies outside the shops on the right? Check. The graceful domes in the cathedral in the middle? Check. Two of them. One big in the middle and one smaller on the side. Gleaming white beneath the sunlight. Good. Would you like to see now, Mr. Fulton? Uh, oh, no, dear. Later, perhaps. Then, the only thing left are the people and the sky. Mm. The people. I recall there were only a, a few pedestrians. In the heart of the painting, can we add two people, a, a woman and a man? What are they wearing? The man is dressed in black. A white shirt on the inside of the black coat and pants. That's a fashionable man. <laughs> Wait till you hear about the woman. I am ready. She's wearing a brown skirt and a yellow top. It seems as though it's the brightest yellow you could imagine. It's hard to imagine that one can pull that off. Yet, she did, and in the most graceful way possible. And this couple, they are heading towards... Oh, oh no, no, they're not a couple. Just friends. Good friends. Oops. I almost make them hold in hands. <laughs> and the sky. You mentioned fast-moving clouds. Sorry, sir. The sky. Uh, we can just leave the sky plain. Thank you, dear. This is perfect. If you change your mind about the sky, let me know. Clara. Come on, Clara. Or you'll be late for your train. Henry. You know what's driving me crazy? What? The sky. It's nearly impossible to paint. It's constantly in motion with drifting clouds and shifting sunlight and changing weather. The possibilities are endless. So you have to watch it closely. Very closely, because if you miss it, it'll never be the same. to each other. Yes. Sky is yours, Clara.